Welcome, I'm Kaylee O'Donnell from the technical documentation team at MSCRM Add-ons. And today I'm going to go over how to create user prompts for the Documents Core Pack dialog. I'll first go over the usefulness behind these prompts and the different types available. And then I'll go to the step-by-step -step demo on exactly how to create and use these prompts. I'll also touch on lookup prompts later on in this video. Now let's get started. All right, now the key benefit behind user prompts are that they allow users to add or modify document elements to their final document directly from the document's core pack dialog. This overall saves time and simplifies the process for users. As you can see here, this is an example of what the prompts would look like within the document's core pack dialog. For example, a user can be prompted to write their own personal note that will then be added to the final document. There are four types of user prompts available. The first kind is a text prompt. This allows users to write their own content to then be inserted into the document, which in this example would be that personal note option. Another example would be a checkbox prompt, and these allow users to choose whether or not they would like to add or remove predefined content from their document, such as a discount code in this example. The third type of prompt is a drop-down prompt. This allows users to select from an option list of predefined options to include such as for delivery terms, they could choose from 30 days, 60 days, et cetera. The final type of prompts would be a date time prompt, and this allows users to enter the date, time, or both of a specific day or time that they choose within the document, as in this final example, as you can see. That was a brief little introduction into user prompts, and now I'm happy to go into a demo of exactly how to create them, insert them into your template, and then how they would look like in the final dialogue. Okay, now I already have a, a template open for us to use. And in this example, I'll be creating a quote document that has prompts to add a personal note, insert a discount code, select how long the quote is valid for, and include the date and time that the quote will be sent. So let, to get started, we will first navigate to the MSCRM add-ons tab, and then select the insert mail merge fields icon to open up this task pane. Now from here to create prompts, you need to select this advanced template settings button and this will open up the dialogue that we will be working in. Okay, and now from here, we'll scroll down to the prompts tab, and here's where we will begin building our prompts, and I'll make this bigger for us. Here we go. <clears throat> Perfect. And now from here, I'll select add prompt to create our first one. Now for the first prompt, this will be our personal note, and for each prompt, you have to have a display name, select the type, and then write your label. So for this display name, which will be the, um, placeholder text within our template. I'll also just say personal note. And then for the type, I'll have this be our text prompt. And then for labels, you always have to first select a language, which will be English in our case. And then for the actual label, this is the text that will appear in the document's core pack dialog before the control. So I will keep this very similar to say personal note as well. And I'll press okay to save that prompt. As you can see here, it has been saved. And now we'll go on to the second one. For this one, we will have the discount code. So I'll write discount code. This will be a checkbox prompt. That's the language. And again, keep this simple. And okay to save. And the next one, this one will work a little different. This will be the quote is valid for selection. So I will make this a select prompt and these work a little differently, but are still quite simple. I'll set the language and the label for this will be quote is valid for. And then down here, you write your options that the user will be able to select from. So it works similarly as the labels. And for this one, I will say um, for 30 days, it will be valid for. And as you can see, this is option one. So I'm gonna press this plus button to write the second option, which I will have as 60 days. <clears throat> Perfect, and then I'll press okay. And that will save that prompt. And the final prompt will be the date time selection. And we'll come down here. And for date time, this is where you have the option to select either the date or the time or both. I'll actually just do the date in this example, but you can do it both or whatever you like. And for the label, I'll keep this very similar. Perfect, and I'll say okay again. And then this is important to make sure all these do save. You have to press okay again in this bottom corner. So I'll do that here. And now our prompts have been created. The next step is to insert them into our document. So to do this, I will come down here to where I want to insert our prompts within the template. And then to add them, you scroll down to the insert field button drop down. And then from the drop down, you select insert computed item, and then you go down to the prompt field. 
And then all the prompts that we have created will appear. I'll go ahead and select our personal note first. Perfect. And then I will go and add all the others right below. You just continue to follow the same process until all have been added. Okay. And then the um, select field prompt, this one works a little differently, but again, it's not too difficult. So this is the quote is valid for. It will then show the two different options under that select prompt. So you have to make sure to include all the individual options that you want included. Okay, now I'm gonna add option two, which is right here. And then I'll add the final one for the date time. <clears throat> Perfect. There we go. Now for the personal note and the date and time, you do not need to change the placeholder text because that will be done based on what the user selects in the dialogue. But for the other options, you do need to go in and change. So for the discount code, I'll go in and say, we are offering you a 20% discount on this quote price. Okay. And then that then we'll move on to option one for the delivery terms. So I'll say this quote is valid for 30 days. So that is what we defined for option one. And then I'll go in and for the second option, I'll say the 60 days. Or, yeah, 60 days, here we go. Perfect, okay. So then we are done creating our prompts and inserting them into our template. So the next step would be to save this template which of course you do from the MSCRM add-ons tab with the save template button. And then it should appear in a second. Perfect. So I'll press save. <clears throat> and perfect, so now that our template is saved, I will navigate to my Dynamics 365 environment and we can test this with a sample quote record. Make sure everything is working as planned. Perfect. So now I'll navigate to that other environment in Dynamics 365. Okay, and I'm going to reload this page to make sure everything is up to date. Okay, and here we go. So now I will select the Create Document button to open up the Documents Core Pack dialog, and we will go through creating a sample document. Perfect. I'll select the Let Me Decide Every Step option. I already have our template we have been working with selected. And here you go. You can see all of our prompts are looking as planned. We have the personal note that they can write. I'll say... Hi. Hi, John. Here is your quote and personal note. Um, I will include the discount code. I'll say 60 days, the quote is valid for. And I'll have to say that the quote will be sent tomorrow. But for now, we'll go ahead and generate the document. And I'll keep the next selection simple. We'll just be creating a PDF in this case so we can see how it appears. And this can always take a moment, but in a few seconds, we'll be able to have a preview of the final document, and we can see if the prompt selections are working correctly. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and select preview, and this should pull up our document here. So here we go. The quote document has been generated successfully, and here you can see we have the personal note that I wrote. I did select to include the discount code, so that's been included. Um, my selection is here as well, as well as the date. Perfect. So there we go. That concludes my short demo on how to create and use user prompts. And next, I'm happy to go into how to use lookup prompts and how they work a little bit more. Okay, so now I'll go into a brief overview of lookup prompts and how they work. Now, the key benefit here is that lookup prompts allow users to select from only one or multiple records within the document's core pack dialog, rather than by default selecting all related records. Now, a common example of this, as you can see here in this document's core pack dialog screenshot, you can see that um, the user is able to select from one contact, or they could be multiple, rather than all related contacts to that record that is being used. So here a user could select one contact from many. And then over here, this would be a sample quote document similar to the one we have, we have just generated. And based on the contact selected, you can see that has been input into this document. So that's how a lookup prompt would work. It would relate to one of the documents or one of the records rather than all of them. And that is the key benefit there. But yeah, so that covers my brief overview of user prompts and lookup prompts and how they work. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And also make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to make sure to avoid missing updates in the future. Thank you all and have a great day.